I haven't bought a new office chair for about 10 years, but I have recently been sent one and I think I've been missing out. This is the Hanomi H1 Pro ergonomic chair and it's the first new office chair I've had in about a decade. This is for two reasons. Firstly, it's because I'd rather not spend a small fortune on a chair brand that most other YouTubers seem to pick by default. And secondly, it's because Hinomi have opened my eyes to what else is available. Hinomi are originally based in Singapore and provide chairs for the home, for your office, for kids and for gaming. And they're now bringing their best seller, the H1 Pro, to Europe. They're also kindly sponsoring this video and they sent me this chair to keep, but rest assured they had zero input in the content for this review and all of the views are my own. Spoiler, I'm really impressed. As mentioned earlier, I haven't bought a new office chair for about 10 years, so unboxing the H1 Pro was quite an experience. It comes in this huge heavy box, I couldn't quite get over it, but that does suggest that your money is being well spent on what is an office chair. And this thing feels like a tank even before you get it out of the box. Once you have done that, I do recommend getting a bit of help with some of the parts because they are quite heavy. Putting the chair together is actually really straightforward. I think it took me about 10, 15 minutes. Everything clicks into place and there are only two Allen bolts that need tightening with the included Allen key. And I've never used a chair with so many adjustable points. The H1 Pro actually has 12. So let's run through them. There's two point lumbar support, armrests with three points of adjustability, three point headrest movement, chair height, seat depth, reclining angle complete with tension control, and finally, a fully adjustable backrest. As you'd guess, that means you can set this thing up precisely to best support your frame. And as I've learned, that's really, really important. Right, hands up, I've got pretty bad posture when I sit in chairs. As you can probably see, I lean forward far too often, and when I do sit back, I'm never really at the optimal height for the desk. Now, as I've learned over the years, this can have a genuinely bad impact on your health. And I'm at that age now, I'm 41, where I'm really starting to think about that kind of stuff. Now I've looked into this, I'm not a doctor, so take everything I say with a pinch of salt, but apparently you need to sit with your bum as far back into the chair as possible, and the armrests need to support your forearms like this and ensure that your arms rest at a natural angle with the desk. Equally, your feet should be able to touch the floor like mine are now. And it's also recommended that you unlock the back of the chair to allow you to rest back like this and rock while you're, you're doing your work. Like I say, I'm not a doctor, guys. I just know that I've not been sitting right for a little while. And the H1 Pro has given me all of the functionality I need to start sitting properly. So what is the H1 Pro like to set up and use? Well, the last thing you want from an ergonomic office chair is for it to be a pain in the backside, if you excuse the pun, to set up once you've put it all together. That's why I was really happy to see the inclusion of a setup and usage guide from Hinobi, which you can basically scan on a QR code on the back of the manual. That was massively helpful. And if you get one of these chairs, I would recommend watching both of those videos, but then just spending a bit of time playing around with those 12 adjustments. And if you do some of that research that I mentioned earlier, don't go on my words, please. Please go and do some proper research. But if you do that and you kind of get an idea of what you need to do with your sitting position from, from proper real life experts, you'll know exactly how to change all of these settings to make you sit better at the desk. It'll help you get the height of the chair right, the armrests in the right position, that lumbar support just right, and everything where it should be. Now it does take some trial and error, and I did find myself pulling things up and down and in and out and stuff just to try and get it exactly how I wanted it, but it is quite a lot of fun getting this thing set up. There are three key features of the H1 Pro that I think are worth highlighting. The first is that lumbar support, which sits down here. Now, Hinomi refer to this as being 3D because they say that it's got five levels of adjustability in height and four levels of forward support, and that's true. I'm not used to office chairs with lumbar support, so at first, this felt a bit strange. It felt like there, was, like there was something on the chair in the way. But once I switched the lumbar support to move flexibly forward and backwards, so you can either have it fixed basically, or as I've got it now, it can move backwards and forwards. Once I set it like that, it made complete sense. And actually the change to my posture was noticeable. That lumbar support seems to have made most of the difference. Now I don't suffer from back pain at the moment, thankfully, but if you do, Lumbar support like this can be really, really helpful. And the same goes if you're sitting at a chair for long periods of time. If you're like me, you know, I sit there doing lots and lots of edits and things, and I'm sat in the same space for a long time. So to have that lumbar support is actually really important. We then have the 5D flip up armrests, and these are called 5D because they can move backwards and forwards, out 
and in. You can even flip them completely up like that if you wanna, I don't know, practice your imaginary guitar. And lastly, there's the recline and leg rest, which makes this an incredibly tempting chair to sleep in. And the reclining part of this chair is very cool because you can adjust the tension. That's something I've not seen before. So you can either make it hard to lean back into, or you can make it very easy to lean back into. I'd just be careful with that last setting. It's a completely safe chair, but when I set it to the easy way of reclining, it, well, it took me by surprise. But when you combine that reclining feature with the leg rest, which tucks out the way when you don't need it, this chair pretty much turns into a bed. Honestly, that 136 degree recline is wonderful. I have to stop myself from using it because if I do use it too much, I won't get anything done. Interestingly, the H1 Pro also has a unique foldable design, which I didn't quite understand at first, but when you think about it, it makes a whole lot of sense. And basically, you can quickly fold it in half, which means you can then tuck it under your desk. It's a brilliant way of saving space. So if you've got a standing desk that you use quite often, you can tuck your H1 Pro under there, or if you've just got a small room where you wanna get rid of that chair when it's not being used, because it is quite a big chair. So to have this in a small office or a small bedroom, for instance, could be a bit cumbersome when you're not using it. So the ability to fold it over and tuck it away out of the way is fantastic. Now with all of these amazing features, you must be wondering what on earth the H1 Pro costs. Well, normally it costs £899 in the UK, but until the end of this year, you can pick it up for just £599. However, it gets even better. If you use my link in the description, you get another £120 off, which means you can get the H1 Pro for just £479. When you compare that against some of the other branded chairs, which I kind of alluded to at the start of this video, that's pretty good value. So I think the H1 Pro is a fantastic office chair. There are a couple of negative points I do need to mention. Some of the adjustments can be a little bit tricky to get to grips with, particularly these armrests. So I found the armrests, that part's fine, up and down, no problem. The kind of forward and backward thing can be a little bit tricky to get used to. Same with these. And it's quite easy to knock them by mistake. You get used to it, but it's a, yeah, a minor gripe. The other thing, some of it is a little bit plasticky. It's good plastic, but the casters, for instance, look a bit plastic. I think that kind of gets them down to the price where they are, which is, you know, that's fair really. But yeah, it's not quite as metal and premium as some of the more premium seats, but that's why they cost a huge amount of money. And regardless, for someone like me who has never sat on an ergonomic chair and doesn't want to spend a small fortune on one, this has been an absolute revelation. And the most important thing is that it is already benefiting my health. I'm already feeling better for sitting on the H1 Pro and my posture has definitely improved. I think taking all that into account, I think it's well priced given the superb build quality and the massive 15 years of warranty. So remember, if you fancy picking up one of these yourself for just £479, click the link in my description. You'll need to be quick because I know this offer will end at some stage before the end of the year, but it's been a great investment from, well, has it been an investment? It was sent to me, wasn't it? They did send me this. I've been quite lucky, but I'd buy it. I would buy one of these hands down. I really recommend it. So check it out. Click the link in my description. And if you want to see more of what happens at my production desk, which is where this chair sits, keep watching for a link to a video where I provide a full tour of that desk.